The second stage is something known as gastrulation. So gastrula or gastric might be a term you have associated before with digestion. Gastrulation is the formation of a digestive tract. And by doing that, by forming a digestive tract, we're providing a pathway for nutrients to enter and waste to exit. Nutrient in and waste out is critical to the formation of the embryo. And we'll see as we perform this phase and the formation of this digestive cavity, we set up the basic body plan for the rest of your development. We'll form three layers. These are known as germ layers or body layers. Germ layer does not refer to any infection. Don't be concerned. What we're looking at instead is the formation of a gut tract in the center with layers surrounding. And what we want to think about is when we talk about your layers, what do we actually mean? Well, this digestive tract you see I drew in the middle. That's the inside. So endoderm, or inside, is what we refer to in this body layer. The middle layer, so what's your middle layer in you? Think about what lays between your gut, your stomach, your intestines, and your skin. What is that middle? Well, I have it here for you. The middle is muscle and bone, something known as mesoderm. When we get into more discussion of animals in the animal kingdom, we'll see that not every animal actually has mesoderm. Muscle and bone are very distinct features of particular animals. On the outside, you have skin. This layer is known as ectoderm, so ecto being on the outside. Skin, your nervous system. If you've talked before at all about your skin and, and the development of your skin, you know that in that layer you have a lot of nerve endings. Think about the sensitivity of your fingers. That's all associated with the nerves in your skin. So we'll look at these layers in more detail when we talk about different animals. But what we're basically looking for is this development of a way to form a gut tract or a body cavity. And we need to start by looking at our layers. So here are our layers we just discussed outside, middle, and inside with our ecto, meso, and endoderm. Okay, And that formation occurs because we have formed something known as a gastrula. It actually is starting to have a digestive tract. Now I know to you this looks like a blue ball of cells with some red and yellow in the middle. The blue is the what will be the ectoderm, so we said that's going to be your skin and, and nervous system. The middle, or the red, is going to be associated with muscles, so that should be easier for you to remember. And then the inside is yellow, in this case, um, and looking at the development of the endoderm becoming all of those internal organs. So I understand that at this point, this simple digestive cavity doesn't look like anything to you other than a hole in a bunch of yellow cells. I promise soon this will make more sense to you. Gastrulation in our sea urchin friend here is actually looking for this formation of the digestive tract. And you can see down here, so we've got our, our ball of, of cells that we expect, but inside this ball of cells, we actually have a cross section that's been kind of taken here for you so that you can see this folding in. See this folding in? 
that's occurring and it goes all the way up here. So this is actually, if you would take your partially inflated soccer ball, if you've ever had a soccer ball or a volleyball or a beach ball that's not inflated enough and you push in on the side, what happens? You push in on that side, it actually dents, right? Well, that dent is what we're forming here for gastrulation. That dent is going to push all the way through the other side and form a tunnel. What do you think that tunnel is going to become? Right? That tunnel or path of cells through the middle is going to become your digestive tract. Now, we know that your digestive tract now is not straight, right? You enter your mouth and go into your esophagus and down to your stomach, and it makes a whole lot of turns before it ends at your anus. But in the primitive sense, and when you start out, this is what we're looking at. Those cells are actually guided by several different cells so that they actually form a straight track. So when we start forming this digestive tract, we want it to go straight through and make a nice path. We don't want your digestive tract to start out and make a right turn. This would suggest that your mouth or your anus is coming out of your side when we finally develop you. You have to think this ball of cells is actually going to turn into you, right? So we have to have a process that makes sure these cells go nice and straight because even though your digestive tract will eventually take some turns, you're pretty much straight <laughs> top to bottom. So we have a couple of different types of cells. The one I want you to focus on is actually something known as philopodia. These are, are parts of the cell and also that actually refer to something known as false feet. Okay. We'll look at, at the direction of those feet, per se. These are parts of the cell that are actually going to reach out like little fingers or feet, they're called podia, so feet, and actually help us to attach these cells. And back here on my diagram, you see some of these trying to reach out and stretch themselves. Those are the false feet or, or filamentous feet we're going to look at as trying to help us draw this track to the other side. They show them here to you trying to reach out and pull and make sure this, this gut tract stays nice and straight. So with our blastula, our, whole, our hollow ball of cells, we're going to fold in, like we had talked about previous, we're going to fold that in and form the gut tract, and in the end have something known as a gastrula, okay, a finalized gut tract. Here they have the anus labeled at the bottom, the mouth at the top, suggesting that this folding in forms the anus first. This is actually something known as a deuterostome. In the animal kingdom, deuterostomes are mammals, vertebrates, and starfish also known as echinoderm. That doesn't have to occur. We can actually form the mouth first in something known as a protostome. Protostomes are all other animals. So if you're not a person or a starfish, you're a protostome. 
So we'll look at those differences more when we talk about animal evolution. So as I mentioned, this malforming first uh, and the gut tube moving its way through um, in our sea urchin, when the mouth forms first, there's our protostome term. In a sea urchin, this is what occurs. In other organs, organisms, we would see uh, different structures, the anus forming first to form you and, and starfish. So in this process that we've looked at, we've got our three layers. Again, this kind of basic digestive tract and cavity forming, and that's where we see ourselves uh, starting to change, and then we'll eventually go into a process to form all of our organs known as organogenesis.